Welcome back to the Moose Man! Before we jump back in and see where the hell we end up, because I don't really know how the save system works, I'm not sure where, if I have to replay something, or if it autosaves all the time, or if it autosaves right where you leave off, or if it's based on checkpoints or collectibles, no clue. We'll, we'll see where we end up, but first I wanted to mention just two things. So first off, for some reason, some weird reason, the Steam overlay is not being recorded. Thanks, DxTory. I don't understand why, but in some games it just doesn't want to record the Steam overlay, and in some games it does. I've even had some games where it didn't record the overlay, and then at a random point it just started doing it, and vice versa. It's fucking weird. But no Steam overlay, so you can't see all the achievement pop-ups and stuff. And since I'm quite partial to achievements myself, I'll probably... I'll, I'll try to make an effort to uh, read them all out and check them and stuff like that when I get them. And speaking of that, I also noticed that I didn't read... There's like... Yeah, it like pauses the music when I'm in the Steam overlay. I uh, didn't read the subtext for the achievements. There's two achievements that we got last time. There's Cows of Vakul or whatever. And the subtext is, we too have a cow level. So they're, they're pretty fun subtext if, if that's any judge, so I'll make sure to check that out and read them whenever I get an achievement. And the second one was Claws of Osh, outsmart the guardian of the lower world. So I guess we're like, are we entering the lower world? Maybe, since we got past Osh, that's kind of interesting, or maybe we're coming from the lower world. Who knows? I'm, I'm guessing it's the opposite, but yeah, we'll find out. So. Achievements out of the way, but also I wanted to just make a quick correction. I said that this game was made by Vladimir Beletsky, which is true, and in my defense, on the Steam page, it just says developed by and published by Vladimir Beletsky. So that's just who I said, but apparently they also have like... It, it's mainly two people, but then I guess there's also the uh, voice actress and stuff like that, so... They call themselves Morteshka. I think is how, how that's pronounced, so just to correct that, it's it's like an actual name, not sure why that doesn't just, why they didn't put that in the Steam page, so not to undermine the, uh, the work of anyone else other than Vladimir, but yeah, just, just thought I'd mention that. So let's jump in and see where we end up. Oh, oh I see. Oh, interesting, so it's like a chapter-based system. But how does that work with, like, collectibles? I guess collectibles are just across the entire game. Interesting, so... Oh, and there's multiple pages. Wow, there's a lot of pages. Okay. I heard that this game would be very, very short, but... I mean, I guess if the checkpoints are very lenient or very uh, frequent, it might not be that long. But yeah, so if I jump into the last one, this is... Right here. So is that because we found the totem, I wonder? I'm not too sure. But we did have a myth as well to read at the end of the last episode. I'm just gonna check. I think I read all of these, right? Can I press escape? Oh no, you can't. Just to go back. I think I read these. They would probably show up as like new ones like this one. Yeah, I haven't read that. That's a neat feature just to show what you have and haven't read. So let's, oh right, and let's do that. So we get the, the background sound just so it's not completely silent. The last road. Our soul that we call Ort walks along the last road when we die. She travels through all the three worlds and finally reaches the Iron Mountain of the Ancients. All spirits know about the last road and help Ort. I see, so that's why spirits are like reacting to us and helping us. I I guess. I mean, we're the we're the moose man, and I'm not sure if the moose man is human or what we are, but yes, yeah, so that that makes sense. So we're going to probably a mountain soon. We'll see about that. That's cool. And I don't need to go and collect the thing in here again. Oh. I can't even do that. Wait, why am I like Oh, is that because I uh Yeah, it's Oh, I see. It's because I uh, wasn't shifted. Interesting. Okay. So what about if I just walk up there? 
Yeah, if I just go up here and then like drop down the shaft here, what happens? I just die? But then if I do it in spirit form, does anything different happen? Probably not, but let's just make sure to check. Oh! That was weird. What was that about? Huh. Some weird, like, shaking. And yeah, I have to be in the spirit world or, like, use my powers to see this dude. Who are you, I wonder? Is this dangerous? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. He's pointing, though. All right, he wants us to go, right? And I see. We have to not be in the spirit world to have a, uh, a bridge. We can see all these people, but they're also, like, in the spirit world. I guess that's, like, maybe they're alive and what we're seeing is not, like, their skeleton. It's their spirit. Oh, shit. I see. So these guys are probably hostile. So if I... No? I'm thinking if I, like, look at them for too long in the spirit world. Yeah, they... they yeah, okay. All right, that makes sense. So you can't use your power for too long or... They get a bit testy about it. Huh. Yeah, so you have to cancel it when you see the red eye. And then we get another myth. This is Siryu Swamp. Ort Vox, the Siryu River that flows through the underworld. The sinful souls get bogged in the river and they rot there forever. Thousands of foul souls became the disgusting liquid, and so the river became a swamp, black and thick like tar. And when your time comes, you should go boldly. There is no way back. I see, so they just mean, like, go on, carry on, like, don't stop, pretty much. And I guess we should avoid using too much of the power, if I can. I mean, right now I don't even need to use the power. Oh, God! Okay, that guy didn't... Oh, was that just because I, like, got caught up in between them? Was that just random? So I just wait for them to get pissed off at each other? No? What? I don't even know what happened. Why did he attack me? Not sure. But there we got another myth, and I bet this tree is gonna be, like, a spirit. No? It's just a weird tree. It looks like a face. I thought it would, like, fill in. Oh, and if I'm in the spirit world, even if they have red eyes, they don't actually attack unless I'm close. But what if I... Can I cancel it, like, right when they lunge at me? Let's see. Don't come too close. I see, they don't actually, like, hunt you down. They just sort of, uh, try to reach out. Oh, but yeah, he did it anyway. Wait, maybe it's, like, maybe it's not, uh, based on using the spirit world at all, or the spirit powers. Maybe it's just, like, a timer, and just using the spirit thing lets you see when they're about to do it. Maybe that's it. And then we want him to stop here and walk across. And the big guys are still directing us. Oh, right. Hold on. I had a myth. I forgot. Me men... Menkvis. What? Menkvis. I isn't that, like... In Russian, isn't, like, V actually a U or something? Menkus? I'm not sure if that's supposed to be the case. I'm gonna say Menkus. Just, I hope that's not wrong. It's, it's probably wrong. We're among the first spirits that Yen created. He didn't give them consciousness, but gave them the life immortal. They stand silently in the special places. The Menkas of the woods ride above, rise above the highest trees. The Menkas of the swamps stare into the fog for eternity, and the Menkas of the lakes drink water so, drink water so that it will fall as rain. I see. And those are like the dudes that are holy shit. That guy's pretty scary. That's a. Uh, the guys that, like, point and direct me, maybe, I think? And here we got another one. 
So many myths. Golden Age. The ground was rich and the barley ears grew full from ground to the top. The sky was close to the ground and the birds that flew through their starry path one could catch with his bare hands. Very odd sentences, but I get what they mean. The men reaped barley with an awl. Is that how that's pronounced? I, I'm not too sure. Once one of the men found a sickle. The sickle fell from his hands, and while falling, the sickle cut the head of a man. His body stomped through the ground and became the gates for insects and evil spirits of the lower world. What? The then sky soared high and became unreachable. His body still lies on the border of worlds. What? I am not sure about what that means. But I guess this is his head, maybe? We got a collection item inside of this guy. Like, is that supposed to be his cut-off head? That kind of reminds me of, uh... The... Oh, what was she called again? The, uh... From Moomin. The, like, big black thing. I know the Swedish name, because it's... I always watched Moomin in Swedish, but... She was called, like... I don't remember. I want to say the Grinch, but that that's not it. It's not Grinch. It's, like, something kind of close to that. Huh. Well, we can direct this, uh... Oh! They're coming for me! Yeah, and they're coming for me even when I don't have the spirit mode on. So I guess I just want to get up on this guy. And they'll, like, pass through. Maybe? Nope! They don't pass through. Alright. Um... Oh, but they go over top! I see! So I want to hide inside of him instead. The opposite. Oh, but hold on, let's uh, check the collection item. Oval plaque. Oval plaque showing human face surrounded by two reptiles. 8th or 9th century. From the village of Yanidor, Cher Cherdin district, Perm Cry. Some artifacts were found at the burial sites. Some in the town remains at the sacrificial places. The rest of the findings is among the treasure stashes or found not at historical sites. What? This item is attributed to the Siberian animal style. I see. Okay. So here comes the dudes, and then I just go in here. And I just chill out. Yeah. Interesting. And they just pass over top, because they're spirits, and... So is the thing I'm hiding in. Cool! Thanks, guy. You were very helpful. Oh, and we're like, zone complete! World complete. There's some text up there, but I couldn't see what the text said. Little bit questionable, uh... Oh! Achievement unlocked! Lower world! Let's check the achievement first. Hold on, I need to refresh this page. Actually, I should be able to just, like, mouse over. Yeah, there we go. Enter the world of the dead and ancient spirits. Cool. But a little bit questionable uh, voice quality, like audio quality. The, uh, you can sort of hear the room echo, just like you can for my audio, because I'm not a professional. I don't have, like, good a good audio recording space. Just having a microphone is not enough, but it's fine. It's, it's acceptable. Just kind of a pet peeve of mine. But, what was I going to say? Uh, right. The, uh, the myths should have the thing now. It does not. God damn it. I wanted to, like... Yeah, I wasn't sure if there was going to be more voice acting, and I couldn't... I don't really want to, like, read out the, uh, the stuff she says as she's saying it, because I want to, you know, listen to the voice acting, even if I don't understand it. So that's a bit of a shame. Oh, unless I can, like... I mean, here's a... That's just a collection item. So yeah, that, that won't help. 
Man and Mooseman. Small plaque showing human figure flanked by Mooseman. 7th or 8th century. From village of Sursyaki? Sheridan di District. Perm Cry. Most of the artifacts are found at the ancient sanctuaries that are called Kostisha, meaning sites of bones, because majority of findings are the bones of sacrifices for the pagan gods and spirits. I see. And I can't leave again? No. But I want to try something. What if I just exit? And then I load again. I could just do this puzzle again just very quickly, and then I could actually try to read out the stuff, but it might be a bit too quick for me. I'm not sure I can read everything aloud while uh, while it's going, but we'll see. I'll try. I was hoping that everything would just be uh, put as a myth, every cutscene with voice acting, because the intro was, but guess not. That's a little bit unfortunate. And yeah, there's like text above the entrance, even when you're not in the spirit world. It happened long before the mighty chiefs were born, even before Kama River appeared among the pine trees. In the endless ocean, the ducks swam. Okay, that's not bad. I don't even have to like hurry. Yeah, I don't have to hurry. From the eggs of this first duck, our father Yen was born. First moose and father of all spirits and creator of all men, the eggshell gave birth to both middle and upper worlds. The lower worlds took roots in the murky ocean depth. Or lower world, not worlds. Okay, cool. So I can do that. That is manageable if I want to read everything that is said. Ah, pressure plate. Interesting. Hold on, let's check back here for spirits. There's a weird little snake in the background and some ghosts. This actually does have a very, like, Moomin kind of feel to it for me. The uh, art style and everything is quite similar to a uh, Tuva Jansson, which is the person who made Moomin. Oh my god, and if I just cancel the spirit thing? Oh, I can still see it. Interesting, but just not like how it's alive. Cool. I like the effect of the, the shadow in the background. Like my shadow. Hello, mister. Oh, under Sky Dome of the Mooseheads was I born by Shaman Pevson, or something. Like eternal birch tree did I grow my mighty car, and a son of bear did I die in fierce and bloody fight. I hope this is not a riddle. You have chosen path of darkness, where you'll find the shining Shandi. If you'll die, the world will perish. That's a bit weird. Cause the sun... Cause the sun will fade away. This is a very weird sentence. Yet I'll see you at thing at this pathway of the dead you follow. What? Here await I the awakening that was long ago foretold. Yeah, it's I can understand everything that's being said, but it is very very kind of odd English. And he doesn't mind that I just pass right through. Cool. Nice music. So that's it for this section. I see. And the pressure plates are, uh... Wait, hold on. Do I need to, like, press them in a certain order? Oh, can I talk to him again? I bet I needed to pay attention and, like, press them in the order of the things he said. Can I do that again? Yeah, I can talk to him again. Okay, I see. Under Sky Dome of the Mooseheads was I born by Shaman Pevson. Like eternal birch tree did I grow the mighty blah blah blah. So birch is like second. Son of bear did I die. Okay, so I'm assuming that it's just 
the middle one first, then the tree, and then the bear. So that, then this, and then the last one. Yeah, cool. That's really neat. Just a little puzzle. And we get a myth here. Let's read that. Kudimosh. Oh, is this the, the cutscene? No, it's not. Kudim Osh is a son of one-eyed shaman Pevsin and a bear. He became a tribe leader, but not everyone was fond of Kudim. Treacherously did they send him to the Vogel swamps, where lived the cursed bride with the head of a monster. Everyone who tried to marry her got scared of her visage, or visage, or whatever, was... Wait, and got scared by her visage, was executed by her father. But the monster bride fell in love with Kudim, and showed him her true beautiful image. He took her as a bride and returned with her back with with her back to the homeland, where he established the car that was called in his honor, Kudim Car. I see. Later and again with the help of a treachery, enemies sneaked into the car disguised as traitors. Kudim Osh fought with them bravely, but he perished in the battle. He was buried under the mountain where he still is awaiting to be awakened. Kudim Osh will rise again when our tribe will be in grave danger. I see. So he's a guardian kind of thing. And a bridge here? Do I want to fall down though? Maybe there's a secret? There's a weird light right here. I'm gonna fall down. Nope, nothing. I guess they wouldn't pull the same stunt twice. Odd sound when you're walking on this. And here we have another myth. Lower world. Among the depths of endless ocean, the lower world took its roots when Yen was born, so that there would be a place for Dam to dwell. There are several paths that lead to this ancient place, where live, where live the dead and forgotten spirits await for their time to come. There, in the depths of the underworld, God, I can't pronounce that word, it is possible to find hot flames of Shandi. Great! Just what I'm looking for, the hot flames of Shandi, right? And these crystals are here, whether I'm in the spirit world or not. I'm gonna stay in the spirit world. Oh! Yeah, they're still here. And we're hearing like a jingle. Wait, what? Is this a puzzle? What? Does this happen if, even if I'm not in the spirit power thing? No. What the hell? I am not sure what's going on, or if this is something I can actually do anything with. Maybe it's like an achievement if you do it right? I'm not sure how I get the, uh, the third one. Huh. Damn it, I keep doing it like too early. No, that doesn't even work. Huh, I'm not sure if that's just a weird little thing or if there's actually a an achievement or a puzzle there. But I guess I'll leave it for now. Hello! Little snake thing. Well, 
I think I might leave it off here for today, and we'll continue next time checking out what this little snake tadpole kind of thing is, and we'll read the new myth we just picked up. So yeah, I wonder where I'm gonna end up now. Like, is this gonna be the part of a new chapter, or do I have to replay something? Because if I do, I mean, that's fine. I'll catch up before I record, but really not sure when you can tell if it's saved or not. But maybe it's the uh, the myths, the poles that are like the new chapters. Maybe. Who knows? But we'll leave it there for today. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.